ladies so I thought in this video we would work on a little tassel a little fabric lace um, tassel and I think what I'm gonna do is use one of these I think they're called the bulldog clip but I'm not certain I can't remember a binder clip um, but this is just a tiny one and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, just one side, and that comes off by squeezing it um, together. It can just come off, and then when you go to put it back on, you just do the same thing, squeeze it together. So um, I have a few things here. I want to use some of this, uh, what is it, jute cord? Um, I want to use a few strands of that. Not much, just a couple strands. So I have that, and then I have some lace over here, and some rickrack. Um, just a bunch of stuff there. And some embroidery thread in the colors that I thought would so nice. I'm going to use this to wrap around after we get our tassel. I'm going to use this to wrap around it to hold it uh, together. So let me put this over here so I don't lose it. And all I'm going to do is just start adding my pieces onto this little hook piece that goes onto our binder clip. So I'm going to start with this blue. I'm going to try to stay where you guys can see me. Although that hasn't really been a problem, I don't think. I don't think I've been off off camera much, I hope. Hope I haven't been. So, just start putting them down like that. And we'll add a piece of this jute. Let's see, let's use some of this brown. And I'm trying to get it so it's somewhat even on both sides. I can always trim it if I need to trim it. I don't want it to be too, too thick. Um, that's about half right there. some of this lace oh hold on a second okay where'd we leave off all right so we get all this I don't I already said I didn't want it to be too thick but I have all these beautiful things I want to put in there Is that too soon to put in? Because I already put some. I don't want that in yet. I want this. Wait. Now I'm getting indecisive <laughs> okay and then I'm going to put this rick rack and I think I'm going to call that good because they get fat quick once you start putting your stuff on And then I have this real dainty, thin lace I'd like to put over top. I 
I have a pink lace too I think I might put on. And we'll call this our last layer. Or is that too much? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put that one on. Okay. All right, so that's what we got. And we're gonna put that on there. I think that's gonna look sweet. So I'm gonna take a length, a good length of this uh, embroidery thread. If it doesn't knot all up on me. Because I wanna wrap that around here multiple times. So I'm gonna take a little more than what I need. A lot more than what I need but um, it's better to have more than not enough that's what I always say so I'm going to lay this down like this and put this over top and then tie this around. I'm trying to keep everything tight in there. I guess I can always pull it down too if I need to. All right, here she goes. We're tying. that okay I'm just gonna try to pull these down a little bit tighter I knew I was going to do that. The embroidery thread isn't all that tight. I mean strong. <laughs> so I'm going to get my uh, my wonderful Fabri-Tac that loves to bubble over on me. And I'm going to put some of that right where that ripped. A good amount, not too much that it's, I'm going to put it all the way around and I'm just going to wrap that until, until I don't see that glue anymore. I keep wanting wanting to bring it closer to me, but I want you guys to see too. I should have put some of this in in with the. Uh, dangles. Okay. I 
All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this around like this, and then I'm going to go through this hole and make like a little knot. Oops. I'm going to try. <clears throat> I don't want that up there. I want it down here. go like that and then I'm going to cut this off about there and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here and push that thread into the glue Probably go all the way around, so we'll put some all the way around. There, and I'm just going to hold on to that for a minute so it will dry. hard to put my cover on because I have so much goop at the end of my bottom uh, at the end of my bottle tip there much better okay so Whoops, that cover done there. So now I'm going to put this back on here. Just give it a little squeeze. And it's back on. So I'm going to flip it up like that. And then put it on our book. So it'll sit in our book like that. And then you just flip that down. And there's our little tassel. I like it. I like the length of it. Gonna... We got a little thread there that come loose from something. So there's our little tassel for our little book. I love how it stands up like that. Let's see, we have time to do something else. It's only, well, 14 minutes. Um, let me figure out what we'll do. I'll put you on pause and I'll be right back. So, I'm thinking, I've narrowed it down. I've, uh, uh, let me get my words right. I have most of these pages decorated and I I would like to do the journal also but I went into my um, stash of little button cluster fabric and button clusters and I found a couple that I thought might go well with our book I don't know about that one too much but so I found a few that might go well but where to put them I don't know <laughs> 
So I kind of don't want to do anything on the front cover. I want it to be somewhat plain like that because we're going to have the tassel on there. And if I put anything on there, it's just going to be covered up by the tassel anyway. And then when we go to close it. So I was thinking maybe something here. Um, I don't know for sure. I kind of like that though. Or this one. Which one to go for? Hmm. I'm really liking that one. I wasn't sure about that one until I laid it on there. And I like that one too. And then I thought maybe something on the inside of here or at the beginning. So anything would look good on here, I think. I could audition them all. Too many to choose from. I can't decide. <laughs> I really like the colors in this one here. I almost feel like that would be too heavy for that page. But... Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I think I'm going to go for this one and glue it down so it'll be like a little tuck spot just along here and here. And then, boy, like I said, time flies when I'm doing videos. I can't believe how fast it goes by. So I'll call this video part seven. And um, I'm pretty sure in the next video we'll be decorating our pages and getting them all spiffied up. So there, we'll be able to tuck something in there. I don't want to do too much embellishing inside of the pages because I don't want it to get too fat. But I've said that before and that's happened because I can't stop myself. So, yeah. So I think that looks cute on there. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.